So I just want to give you a quick rundown of code spaces, how they work, what they are, how to use them. Um, these released last week, they're basically just um, little cloud instances of VS Code or dev environments that you can spin up. Uh, GitHub made the first 60 hours a month free. So um, I guess to start, let's just look at this. So this is the code spaces um, homepage. If you go to github.com and then go to code spaces, you just can have this. You can pick from a template here. Um, I am going to use this one down here. This is something that I was actually developing in earlier. I've been building out a full React and Firebase app in code spaces, which is pretty cool that you can do that. So what I will do is if you want to open this, all you have to do is just click on the code space. And it's going to take a moment here. I'm going to have to cut this because this will take a while to open. Okay, there we go. So it is fully initialized. That didn't actually take too terribly long, but basically what you're looking at now is a full VS Code environment in the cloud. None of this is using resources on my computer. It's being streamed. I could be on the world's crappiest laptop and this would still run like it's being run on an eight core, 16 gigs of RAM computer, which it is. So um, what you get in here is you get just a normal dev environment. You get a um, you get a Linux terminal down here, which will have like npm is already installed, node node is already installed, whatever like um, go is already installed, like all the basic things you would need is already installed. And what you can do is you can actually just you basically just use this like a normal dev environment. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to do npm run a dev. So I can write all my code in here, and then if I do npm run dev, it's going to expose on localhost 127.0.1.5173, which is great, but how do I actually, how do I access localhost on this? Well, what's cool about this is it's going to, oh, it's going to, it will provide port forwarding for you so that you can then access it in your browser. So I can just open in browser, and now I get the full preview that's being run from my app. So if you see this, this is what I'm building in here, and all of it can just be previewed in here, and it works live, so let's just change this. So, so let's just go ahead and edit this, and then we can just say demo. And then if we edit that right there, now we get this showing up in here, and then we, like, basically what I'm trying to show you is this is just a normal dev environment in the cloud, and um, they're actually, they're smart about this. One of the things I was worried about when I first tried this was you can go to this ports tab and you can see like what's open. So the local address it will show you like you can open this in another browser if you don't hit that button at the bottom. But um, couldn't someone theoretically just go play with your dev environment? But what you'll see, it's cool. If I go to this guest tab and I try and go to this uh, URL, it's going to make me sign in. So they really thought of everything. It works really well and you get 60 hours for free. I guess that's kind of it for the cloud-based code spaces stuff, but one of the things that's also really nice about this is this is going to be using um, this. If you have your VS Code settings synced and saved to your account, it will bring all of those preferences and all of that stuff up into the cloud for you. So um, I'm using Vim for VS Code and all of my settings and custom keybinds and custom actions like jumping between tabs, that's saved from my local machines and then it just read that automatically for me. I didn't do any config on this whatsoever and it's fully set up. It just feels like they took my local dev environment and put it in the cloud, which is a super, super great feeling. Um, so then you can do all your dev and, uh, you can do all your work in here, then you go back in the terminal, and then since the way you often want to open these up is from a git repo, you can then just uh, commit and save all your changes. Uh, git push. And then now, if we go back, we can close this. So um, all you need to do is just close the window and then go back to... Um, then go back to github.com, then go back to your code spaces, and it's going to say this is active. You want to make sure that you stop these when you're not using them. They will automatically stop after a while, but don't want to be using resources when you don't need to. And then, yeah, if you need to view your uh, usage, you can go into... If you need to see your usage, you can go into your settings and then into your uh, billing and plans. Then you can just see all your stuff in here. And then you go down to uh, code spaces here and you can see how many hours you've used. So you can see I've used 31 hours of um, 180 included. And that's just because I've been actually playing with it, using it. I've really been enjoying it. Okay, and then so you can see your uh, usage breakdown here. If you hit the drop down, you can see the detailed breakdown. So I've been using the eight core the most. So I've been using 2.91 hours worth of that. And then that gets tallied up into this 31. You can see how they calculate it in the docs. Not the biggest deal in the world. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much how you do that. The last thing I'll show you is how to open this from a repo. So let's just do this ultimate stack demo one. And then if I go to code, so when you would normally clone this, you can now open it in code space. So you just create a code space on whatever branch you want. It'll open it up in a new window and you can edit it in there. So like I said, very brief, very simple, but 
go give these a shot. They're really cool, and I think that this is something that... I don't know, I want to play with it more, but I think this is something I'm going to end up using more often. And it probably means that you can get a cheaper, smaller laptop and still get away with a really great dev experience and work basically anywhere.